Hi, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Hey, um, I just guess that uh, it's time I got this off my chest. It's becoming a bigger and bigger issue as far as I'm concerned. Not that it's more prevalent, but simply because I see it. And since I see it and I keep seeing it, um, it just wears on me. Hi, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. I want to let you know that this is just a subject that I have to speak out on. There are certain expats and foreigners that we see, run into, they blog even, all right, that simply disgust me. They disgust me to the extent that, <clears throat> while it isn't a mental issue, it's just ridiculous. And I'm going to tell you about them, and I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to tell you the solution. Hey, that's pretty simple, isn't it? I don't know if it's more frequent now than it has been in the past. I have no data to back that up. But I do know that I see it. I do know that there are vloggers that actually are a part of the problem. I do know that there are extenuating circumstances and two sides to every story. All of that being said, you know something? If you've left children behind, you are a disgusting piece of crap. All right? People that leave their children when they are minors, when they exit their lives, and I don't mean getting a divorce or becoming separated or anything like that, but no longer participate in their children's lives are disgusting. You take a look at the headlines and all the problems and issues that they are and how you have uh, so much violence in younger generations. Some of that is due to the simple fact that they didn't have a good moral upbringing. And I'm not being religious by any way, shape, or means. Okay? Because that is definitely not what I mean. What I mean is, is they didn't have two parents that went to PTA meetings. They didn't have two parents that interacted with their teachers. They didn't have role models. They didn't do this and they didn't do that. And they may not even have had support, which in many instances they didn't. Financial support. A full nutritional set of meals. Clean clothes. You see, when you leave your country and you come to paradise and you're escaping these responsibilities that you brought upon yourself, that you're a part of, that you created, okay? You're a disgusting sack of worthless crap. And it goes in two directions. You see... When you come here and you leave a little piece of you behind and you're not a part of their life, you're not a part of their upbringing, their uh, moral values, you don't represent a role model to them, you don't do all of the things that are necessary to raise a child, when you don't don't create that foundation. You are again a worthless piece of crap. And we see this over and over. There are foreigners here who have left minor children, separated from their wives, divorced, found out 
that they're uh, unable to live the life that they want to live in the United States or whatever country they're from, and they come here to the Philippines because it's cheaper. It's less expensive to live here, and they can still party on. Well, then you've left that child behind, and that is just not acceptable. In addition to that, you've done something that then creates another situation of possibly you're creating a child here. And when and if you move on, now you've left that child behind. And your lousy $100 a month in uh, uh, child support, that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing compared to what you could be giving, okay? Should you skip a few meals? Should you go out and party less? Should you drink less? Should you live life less? For during the period of time that that child is a minor, yeah, you should. You have an obligation, and we don't see it happening. But you see just the opposite. We know people, well, we don't know people, actually. All of our friends are very responsible. There are bloggers that actually brag about the fact that they have minor children. They left minor children in America. They have a minor child in one city, and they're shacked up in another city with another child. We see... People who come here and hear about how they were in love and their girlfriend got pregnant and poof, they're gone. Pieces of crap. All they're doing, by, by doing that, they are, are accomplishing the one thing we don't want. And that is propagating that obviously bad gene pool. Because if your genetic and hereditary background allows you to do that, you should not procreate. You should not create more people like yourself. It's that simple. So we look at all of these things and we try and figure out exactly what it takes to stop this from happening. And there's nothing we can do. Well, that's not true. Actually, I was discussing this with Arlen. And I found out from Arlen, yeah, of course, there is something we can do. And of course, when she sh told me, I was like, oh my God, yeah. I, I mean, I, I can't believe I didn't think about that. I can't believe I, I did not... Uh, understand that this is something that that would easily stop this. So I thought it would be better if Arlen could explain exactly how to fix this problem. So let's uh, switch cameras and figure out what's going on and we'll get Arlen to explain the second half of this.